there's a lot of very interesting things about radiation and old reactors. Like one of the oldest reactor types that we used to do a long time ago, before um, you know, before we had titanium and all kinds of stuff, we used to do reactors in, in stone, which is basically, you know, you dig way down and you can actually use stone. As long as you drill it and stuff, instead of blasting it, you can actually use the stone as basically pipelines and stuff like that and actually create a pretty good reactor just by um, mining and you know sculpting and then drill line drilling a, a pipeline and then what you do is you take a, take a, 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 a steel sleeve or a cast iron I forget if it's cast iron or steel sleeve and you put it in there and then you take a um, something made of brass or something like that and you stick it on there and then you bolt to the uh, to the um, to, to the rock face and then you can plug into that basically with a, with a reactor and run reactive water through it and all that kind of stuff. And what actually happens is it, it's over the years as the pipe, because of course the pipes are going to rust. And as the pipes rust, what happens is the water starts, the reactive water starts to leak out, right? Okay, now normally it would just leak out into, into the stone, but because there's a steel or, 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 um, or, iron, or iron pipe in there, what it does is, is as it rusts out, what happens is, is, the, uh, is, is the iron goes with it and will actually even go and fill in all the cracks, which is really weird. So basically, uh, as, as the reactive water leaks out, it goes and fills in the cracks with the, with the, with the iron. Basically, you get like this effect where the iron basically goes into the rock almost kind of thing. It's kind of weird. Uh, it's something we used to do a long, 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 long time ago, where where you'd have a reactor that was made out of because you, because because uh, titanium and and the really hard metals are that that, that that will last forever are hard to come by. So so what they, they used to do is put these little reactors in there, and basically they would pretty much be reactions, you know, and you'd get the steam pressure out of it, and the steam would go through the thing and all that other stuff. There used to be a lot of very dangerous stuff, basically, that we used to do long, long ago, and pretty much these reactions would would, would, would react. It's basically like a, a thorium reactor is just like those shell casings that they use in the, um, in the uh, what's called, in the in the tank shells. Basically, it's a, it's a, it's a uranium rod and then thorium on the outside, and then you just go, and you light it off, and it goes, and it creates steam for uh, a very long time, basically, until all the metals burn, <laughs> and stuff like that. I don't re really remember, but basically, it boils the water, and you get your steam pressure that way. And you can use this. You can use this for a steam engine, basically, and run a steam generator off of it. And basically, you react water. It's a it's a one bypass or non bio it's a single stage uh, reactor pretty much and that's pretty much what they used to do is basically thorium and uranium and then light it up and um, and basically create steam <clears throat> and they used to do this very dangerous um, and there's two types of radiation there's inherent radiation which is basically is given off by a particle pretty much there is no real and then there's residual radiation, which is basically where the particles have gone into the water. And but that doesn't last long because it's just particulates, and eventually that stops. Water, radioactive water, will eventually the the part the particulates, if if it's just allowed to settle, they'll settle down at the bottom, and leave like a reactive film on the bottom, and then the water will become less reactive over time. So there's there's residual radiation, and then there's and then there's actual radiation. Radiation is given off by particles. So as they decay or come apart, basically, anyway, it's all complicated and it's all very, very theoretical. But there are some some hundred trillion year or hundred thousand year old reactors that, that that have been lying under under the ground. That eventually, eventually, the, the the reaction fizzles and the radiation basically goes out. A radiation basically is a decaying um, uh, isotope or something where it's got, you know it's like going off. But eventually, that stops. All the particles go off, and 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 they're not really. They're not really dangerous when, like, 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 like they're just particles, you know, and they're huh, just a particle. So they're only dangerous if they're moving really fast. Otherwise, they're just particles. Just sit there like marbles, you know. Yeah, you know, they just sit there. They don't really do anything. So, and that's what what they call actual depleted uranium, which is basically a particle that's decayed to its very last state, which is its base metal. Yeah, whatever. It's very complicated. Talk to a scientist about it or a PhD person. They'll tell you about how radiation basically fizzles. And or you can watch the videos on on it on on one of those uh, LS um, L shells. Basically, you watch that. That's a thermite react. That, that that's a thermite and uranium reaction. For every particle you see, there are hundreds of that. Uh, there there are millions that you don't see. So, and they're going. And, they, and if you were there, they go right through you. 
and basically, and 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 then, and then there's a little bit of gobbledygook that that is highly radioactive and um, fizzles, and that's really dangerous in its own right. And that's giving off thousands of particles too. So the whole area is very bad to be, to be right. If you were there, you'd be dead, pretty much, because for you know it doesn't have to get on you to kill you. Just being around it will kill you. So anyway. Um, but that's a very basic reactor, basically, and that's the basic idea. The, the reactors with the rods and everything, that I think that's a thorium cone or something. It's all complicated. I don't really care. Um, anyway, and heat and electricity, and then and it starts to thermite, the, the reaction, basically. But whatever. You know, it's, it's, that's all high-end stuff, and I advise my people to stay away from radiation. It's very bad. I mean, it can be used. You can use it, but generally, you're not going to want to because it's, you know, just use a, build a dam. Unless you're in space, it's not really a problem. So, anyway, and there's, and there's lots of other ways of, of having power in space. So, you know, solar panels and other things that are much, much safer. You know, it keeps the radiation on the outside. Anyway, a uh, long time ago, there, there was a question of whether or not we, could, we should start the first star reactor. Uh, because that star, the sun that you call it, is actually a star reactor. And... There's a question of whether or not we should start them because they're very dangerous and they're basically irradiating all of space. But that's how you create particles, and that's how you build mass. You know, is through the stars. You know, they create particles and particles go out and they get more particles, and they collect more particles. So, and eventually, light particles that they give off become denser particles. That's what mo nobody knows is light is a particle, and eventually you can group them up. Once you get them, and for some reason, I think they gain in particles or something like that. There's some sort of thermal re nuclear reaction where, where they gain one percent mass or four percent mass every second or something like that. So, but it takes a long time for them to, to get going. But once they get going, then you're getting a fair amount of particle creation, and that's mass for planets, mass for metal. You know, and eventually it leads to this and this. So, but it takes billions of years for that to happen. And even possibly create creates water and stuff. So because all these little particles become bigger particles. So you have to scoop them up. Anyway, it's all complicated and all theoretical and basically supercomputers do it. So anyway, yeah. So and I only know, you know I only have a basic memory of basically what I remember from my old days, ye old days of being a supercomputer and creation creation of, of material and matter. So anyway, now I'm retired. So. And just basically this epic holdover from the past that's 100 trillion years old. Anyway, yeah. A lot of people were trying to deny me who I was and all that other stuff. And it was very, very upsetting. And a bunch of people were like, you come here, baby. <laughs> it's like, wow. Epic creator and a government country and you're going to use it basically to hook up with chicks? Come on. Wow. I used it to create a giant spaceship that I call the, the LSF flyer ship, spaceship. And I cruise around the galaxy. Yep. And built more stars. And then colonized them later on. But that takes hundreds of millions of years or billions of years, so trillions of years. Anyway, so yeah. But that's me, Lucifer, star. So he goes, that's why, that's why I'm at the top. And there is no God above me. There is no one above me. God is go government authorized delusion. So anyway, because JFK wanted to pretend like he was king for a day or something, but king for a lifetime or something. But then he created a bunch of clones and was trying to pr pretend like he was immortal or something, and he wasn't. Except for this one guy who's, I'll never die, Mr. Jimmy Carter or whatever. And I killed him, so. Anyway, I'm hunting down every single one of his freaking clones. Ah. He was doing all this. God's old golden army is coming at the little spit at the little colonies. And they're like, what the and all these troops. <laughs> wow. So me and my exoskeletons <laughs> got them. So and then generally we didn't kill him. So we just Okay, he is not the creator. He is not your leader. He's a very bad man. <laughs> and uh, we eventually like undid all his little psychotic, weird experiments, like putting wires inside of the human body and stuff like that. It's like, oh man, some of the things he did was like very bad. That was Jimmy Carter and J 
JFK and, you know, he's putting wires inside of people and all kinds of sick, disgusting stuff.